hey 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 guys i am back today with another video this one is going to be brought to you by the company omg her hair i have worked with them plenty of times before but before i get started on all the details guys please make sure to hit the subscribe button also turn those notifications on because you do not want to miss out on any of my videos you probably noticed my tripod and a little bit of my fan in the video i forgot to raise the tripod up so guys do not mind that stuff but today i will be showing you guys the pre-bleached and pre-plucked bob lace front wig um this one is eight inches it is a natural color it is a medium cap size the lace color on it is brown you do get four and a half inches of parting space and this one is also silky now the density on this one is 130 percent in the front and then they state that it is 180 percent in the back Now, originally this unit will come in a middle part. However, I did wash this off of camera using the Aussie Moy shampoo and conditioner. I decided to set mine as a side part and that's because I just did something similar from another company. So I didn't want them to come off looking exactly the same. Like I stated, this unit does come with the bleach knots and you do have the elastic band in the back now this one doesn't come with any combs and you also get the pre plus hairline however i did go in and pluck out a little bit more hair just because i wanted it to look a little bit more natural making sure that everything is lined up and I wanted to see if I had to cut off any lace on the side by the ear so that I didn't have to worry about it overlapping. I'm just going to work on cutting off this lace. As you guys can see, this lace was long and I had to make sure that I was cutting off a good amount, especially getting as close to the hairline as possible because even though that this lace color says brown, sometimes it still can come off a little bit on the grayish side so i'm definitely going to have to make sure that i'm getting as close to the hairline as possible and not leaving on too much lace so when i do put my powder on it'll just blend in should have cut off a little bit more on that right side but I didn't notice it so I put my powder on but it's still gonna look cute and come together but as you guys can see I'm just making sure to get as close as possible to not leave on too much lace when it comes to this unit now I'm just going to use the she is bomb fuse foam and I'm just going to kind of swoop back over that hair right there I already kind of pre-molded that when I wash the unit and set it on the mannequin head, but I'm just swooping it back over. I will not be using any got to be free spray to lay this unit down. I really don't feel like it needs all of that. So now I'm gonna just go in with my Maybelline Fit Me powder in the color 355. And I'm just going into the parting space and I'm also going around the hairline and making sure to blend it in really well so that it matches my skin. sure to add powder to the sides even though I know it won't really show like that but in case the wind blows back you don't want to be caught slipping with your lace looking a totally different color so I'm just taking the clips out and then I'm just kind of combing through the hair because I did get a little bit of shedding and now I am just going to use my Kaposi flat iron and just slightly start to bump some of this under now I did notice some shorter hairs throughout the unit so I'm definitely gonna have to go in towards the end and add my Garnier Fruity Sleek and Shine Serum just to kind of keep those flyaways down because I don't want it to come off looking super frizzy. And it's a silky texture, so of course you want this to be in place and you want the unit to look smooth. So now I'm just going in with my wax stick and I'm just going to go around the hairline and then by the parting space and then I'm just going to take my hot comb <laughs> i was gonna say my wand curl i was gonna take my hot comb and i'm just going to press the hair down so that it can be very nice and flat my hair is pretty flat underneath but of course when it comes to my silky units i do not want any type of humpage at the top of these wigs as usual all the products that i use can be found in the description area if there is something that i did not put please feel free to leave it down below and i will try to find the links for you guys 
So now I'm just going to make sure that I run my Garnier Fructis through the hair. And as you guys can see, that calms some of that freeziness down. And then guys, this is the final look. This style was super easy to do. You can really honestly wear this straight out of the package because they've already bleached the unit for you. Just add your powder, cut off your lace, bump it under and go. As the density and the cut, the density on this unit is very nice. I feel like you can wear this every day. Now it says 180% density in the back. I do feel like it's a pretty good density, but I don't think that it is 180% when it comes to density. I think it's more like 150, which is still good for a silky straight bob to come off like that because some silky straight bobs come off very thin, even in the front. And this one did not give me that feeling at all. Because I hate when a bob wig is very wispy in the front and then most of the density is in the back. So I think they did a good job with that. As far as the cut goes, I have no complaints about the cut. They did a really good job with bleaching the knots. All I had to do was add in my powder. And as you guys can see, it blends in very, very well. As far as the hairline goes, like I said, I did go ahead and pluck out a little bit more because I wanted to have it look a little bit more natural. However, you do not have to do that. That's just me being extra. And then the parting space on this still looks good. I did get a little bit of shedding with this unit, but I do not expect to get any tangling with this one. This is a short and easy throw on and go bob wig. You don't have to worry about this being too much and this is beginner friendly. And on top of that, this unit is very affordable. It's $99 on the website plus you can use a coupon code with it so if you guys are interested in this unit and you are feeling it i'll make sure to leave all the links down below once again guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share don't be stingy share like this video and i'll see you guys next time bye guys